Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look how Mistral's Ball 3 is running on your Mac Mini 4 Pro with the base configuration. So if you don't know, Mistral released an open source model, the Mistral Small 3, and uh, this is their website. And uh, this uh, LLM, it's open source and you can run it on your own devices. It's uh, smarter than 4.0 Mini and it has the tool capability so you can run various tools with it. And in this video, we're going to see exactly how it's running on our Mac for Mini. So one of the reasons that I bought this Mac PC is because I want to run LLM models on it and I am uh, testing it with the latest models that are out there. And this one, it's quite nice. And uh, in the benchmark, it's like uh, higher than the 4.0 Mini. It's similar with the Queen 2.5 32 billion parameters and this uh, model it's using the 24 billion parameters so it's a bigger model that uh, it is uh, that will be tested on uh, on my mac and it is available on orama and in here you see for instance that you have the mistral small and in here it tells that it's using the small tree and uh, yeah you can run it basically the recommendation it's to go and run it in something that has 32 gigabytes of RAM. I have only 25 and we're going to see how it's doing. So it, it is a multi-angle one. It's an agent, agent centric one. It's using a context of 32 keys. And uh, in here you have more details about it and how it's doing with various uh, benchmarks. And uh, let's go and uh, have this running so in here i have it already downloaded so or llama list you'll see that i have the mistral small and it has the 40 gigabytes in size and in here you have the activity monitor and right now you see that you have about uh, memory used is 10 gigabytes but you have a lot of cached files that are going on in in here See that the Windows it's using the most of the memory. So right now I'm doing like basic things with me with my Mac. And what I will gonna do is I'll gonna start this with Olama. Olama run. And we are going to start this in the verbose mode so we can see how it's doing. So I will hit enter. And right now this thing has started. We don't see a increase in memory yet. Uh, but when we are going to ask something, so who are you? We are going to see that the memory will spike. And you see that right now you have the memory that it's used. It's about, uh, I don't know, 20 gigabytes of RAM from the 24. So it's quite stressed. And in here you see that it responded it, like a simple question. And in here you see that the model with Olama and Mac Mini it's using about three tokens per second. So this is very, very slow, but I wanted to see how it's working on my Mac uh, Mini. And uh, let's go and see from which date it has data on. So you see that it has data till October 2023. And again, you see the big spike in memory. You see that uh, right now, the memory is used uh, all, and this is not uh, crashing, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, right now you see that you have the similar tokens per second. Another thing that we can do, let me exit in here, is to add an UI to the model so we can better chat with it. And we have this chat box in here that is configured to run with Olama. And uh, yeah, this is the interface. And in here you have the options to configure this. And I have a couple of models in here. We're going also to test them. I already did a video with the deep seek, 14 billions and 8 billions. So you can see how it's running. And in here you have the options to configure this. I see, you see that I have the Olama UI added. And basically for this, the temperature recommended is to be like 0.72 be as good as possible. So let's go and uh, try to 
ask it something in here, please. Create the snake in Python. I made, I made a mistake in here, but it should be able to understand it. And you see that it's going, but it's quite uh, slow. And you see in here again that the memory, it's used uh, all. So you can like use this a little with your Mac uh, Mini Pro, M4 Pro, but it will not have a good experience. And that's why it's better to use like a small model with less uh, para parameters. I found that the P4, for instance, it's working quite good. Also the R1 40 billion parameters, it's going well. So you see in here that it's like very slow on the memory, it's used uh, a lot. I am just going to stop this. Because I wanted to show you how it's looking. So for instance, you can go and run DeepSeek and this should work better. Snake in Python, like this. So the DCK R1 of 14 billion parameters, it should uh, work faster. So you see in here that this one it's going much faster. This one it's using like Carno more than 10 tokens per second, and that's why it's it's faster. I did a video in the in the past, and you see that right now. This is offering the output with the reasoning and you have this nice UI with the chat box that you can you can use and you have a little code and everything. And for instance, if you're wanting to check some applications that I am using with Mac Mini, I've created this site. The site is called Tool Hunt and in here you will find tools related to open source ones. You have some online tools that are nice and that can help you. You have also the Mac tool. So in here you see that you have the Mac tools that are free and uh, I am like tested and used them in the past. And for AI, for instance, you can go and filter in here and you, you see that you have the chat box. I will let the link into the description. And yeah, if you want to find out some nice tools you can visit my website tool hunt but yeah this video it's about uh, it's about this and you see that right now this it's going and it's working but uh, again the 24 billion parameters it's very big for this mac mini m4 pro and even if you get it more memory, it will not work better, like it will not have a better token per second. And like this, it's working with the Mistral uh, small tree. I hope you enjoyed the video and in case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.